So, so right now we're not using uh, TMB as a marker to help us decide who gets treatment or not. We certainly do genetic testing to identify oncogenic uh, markers for targeted therapy. Uh, but your question, I think, pertains to TMB. So TMB has been interesting. It's available now in uh, certainly some commercial um, vendor reports for tissue testing. Um, a couple of things about it. Number one is we get it back, uh, but we tend not to get it back in time to make a first-line treatment choice. So initially the data came out with uh, nivolumab and ipilimumab, specifically in a trial called Checkmate 227, comparing that regimen versus chemo, chemo with nivolumab. And there was a suggestion in a publication in the New England Journal in a filing with the FDA to try to get that regimen um, approved based on TMB, that a high TMB was a, seemed to be associated with benefit with that regimen. So, so TMB is available in across many tumor settings. You can see TMB does correlate with benefit from immune response. But what we're learning at this meeting at ESMO 2019 is that TMB in that study for Checkmate 227 specifically may not be necessary anymore for even making a decision yes or no on nivolumab or ipilimumab. So the quick answer is we don't use it, we get it, but it doesn't, make, it doesn't help me make a decision on who gets immunotherapy and who doesn't.